Hey, Zips fans, Chad Welker here with the Zips Digital Network. Had an opportunity to catch up with head coach John Gross as he recapped the game against Kent State and previews the game against Eastern and Northern this upcoming week. Obviously, it was a great win for us. Uh, I didn't think we played particularly well. Our execution was hit or miss, but I loved our resiliency. I loved our togetherness. I loved our fight. And uh, obviously, we had some guys make some big plays uh, throughout, especially down the stretch, to come back from 16 down to go up 10 with five minutes to go. It's a 26-point swing. So we did do uh, some good things and, again, was really, you know, appreciative of the uh, resiliency that our guys showed uh, throughout the game. We've just got to clean up some of the execution things at this point, and I think that comes with playing more games, getting more practices. Uh, I do think we've um, gotten better since. You kind of mentioned it, playing more games and more games consistently. Uh, you've gone pretty much all year so far, playing a game and then a whole week off, and then playing a whole playing a game, a whole week off. Um, is there something, you know, kind of when you kick start the uh, the game that you notice that kind of is slow, and then all of a sudden, second half, you picked everything back up because there isn't that inconsistency of games being played? Well, I don't know if that's the pattern. I mean, you think about the Ohio game, and we came out really strong to start. Um, you know, we certainly have had two or three where we've not started the way we wanted to. Uh, but I thought that, you know, again, we showed some resiliency. I thought our execution, again, was just was just okay. Um, you know, we made some key plays here and there throughout um, that I thought were really instrumental in the win. But our execution's got to continue to get better. And you're right, we're looking forward to this opportunity, you know, Lord willing with certainly the COVID situation, that we can get in, you know, three games in seven or eight days. We've got the opportunity to do that uh, coming up here pretty quickly. Um, again, if we're, you know, blessed enough to <laughs> have those opportunities because we're living in a world where you just don't know. And you mentioned, uh, you know, we've had some games canceled. We've put some games uh, in in replacement um, so we've kind of tried to improvise, adapt, and overcome to the best of our ability. But we would love the opportunity to get in a rhythm, Chad, of where we can play three games in, you know, seven or eight-day time period, time frame. Individually, uh, I know on the coach's show we said Michael Dawson was that stock is rising uh, representative. Lauren Christian Jackson obviously had a big game against Kent. Uh, who else is kind of out there standing out for you right now? on your team? Well, we got a lot of guys that are getting better. Obviously, Freeman uh, with a near double-double uh, against Kent and what he's done on the backboard, protecting the rim. You know, he's top five in our league in both rebounds per game and shot blocks per game. And so he's really bought into his role and is fulfilling it at a pretty high level right now. So he's really done some great things for us. I thought that Marshall and Dawson and Enrique's play in the Kent game from a toughness standpoint and an energy standpoint, really flipped it for us uh, after the slow start that we alluded to earlier. And so it was great to see those guys provide that spark. That's who they are. They're energy givers at an extreme level. And um, it's great to have those guys in, in your program. You want to have as many of those as you can. And they bring that every day consistently. And boy, did we need that you know, kind of flipping of that switch change in that Kent game to get the momentum of the game going back in the Zips direction. And I thought those three guys really provided it. Now we get to move forward to Eastern Michigan. And typically when we have our conversations, we're talking about two games and you're limited on your comments on that second game because we're always focused on one. Uh, now you've had a whole week to focus on Eastern Michigan. So what can we uh, find out about the Eagles? Well, it's interesting. They've also had a full week and you know, they've had Noah Morgan out, who was a double-figure scorer that scored 30 points on Kent State last year in the MAC tournament, uh, the game that Kent won that ended up punching their ticket to the MAC tournament uh, prior to COVID shutting the tournament down. He had 30 in that game. He was a double-figure scorer all last year, and he hasn't played. So we're anticipating him returning this weekend. He did play a few minutes in their most recent game. But I imagine he'd be healthier, more reps, more practice. So that's going to make them a lot different. And then Benelli, who's just a terrific shooter, has been out all year. We anticipate him being back as uh, 6'8", 6'9", sharpshooter this weekend. And so they've been without some of their bodies. 
and have tried to find a rhythm as well with a lot of newcomers just like we have that are playing different roles than what they played last year. And so, you know, I, I expect them to, you know, be, be good up there. They always have been. Uh, you know, Murph's teams are really good at home. Uh, their winning percentage is ridiculous at home uh, throughout his career. Then just the zone, you know, the zone and going against it for 40 minutes. Uh, they do. Murph does as good a job as anybody at teaching uh, the 2-3 matchup zone. And then, uh, you know, obviously Ty Gross. You know, he's, he's just a terrific talent. He's one of the best players in our league. You know, he's, he's a load because he can play inside and out. And is playing a little bit more inside here lately with some of the injuries, and he showed some prowess down there. You know, he already can drive it and play on the perimeter. Now he's playing inside, and he's just a freakish athlete, um, great athlete. So, you know, we'll have our hands full. We did last year, as we all remember, Zips fans, we, you know, we played really well up there, exceptionally well, won, and then they came into here at our place, and, and it was the one game all year at home where I felt like we didn't deserve to win last year. They missed 20 to 25 free throws, led for 30-some minutes, and we kind of pulled a rabbit out of our hat at the end, made some big plays. Our kids really stepped up and made plays. But, you know, I'm sure that they feel very comfortable playing against us, uh, obviously with the success that they had last year in game two where I thought they kicked our tail for the majority of it. We were very fortunate to win that. So... It's always a, a, a battle when we play them. The previous year, it was a one-point game here at our place. In the MAC tournament, my first year, we had an unbelievable start to the game and uh, led throughout and, and out, you know, probably outplayed them and um, had, the, had the, for the bulk of that game led, and then they made a comeback at the end and took us out of the MAC tournament in 2017-18. So we've had some real battles with them. He does a great job, plays a different style. Both of us have had a week to prepare, and it should be a really good challenge. And then just brief, very brief comments on Northern Illinois because that game will be on Tuesday. Again, and you know I'm going to say this, I don't know a lot about them right now because I've just locked in on Eastern Michigan. Um, I'll learn a lot more about them, obviously, as soon as the Eastern game's over and then we get in that two-day period of preparation. We may have some more thoughts uh, on them at that point, but uh, right now our, our focus is on Eastern. Thanks, Coach. The Zips make their first road trip to Eastern Michigan this Saturday as they take on the Eagles at 2 p.m. You can catch that game on ESPN+. Plus. Then the Zips will be back on the road to take on Northern Illinois. That game will be at 3 p.m. Eastern time. For the Zips Digital Network, this is Chad Welker. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. And as always, go Zips!